Preach be a voice, not an echo, is going lively. Lighting up a new age through our Facebook ministry page. Preaching the gospel of God the Father and of grace. The Lord calls them to back away from you. He calls them to say goodbye. You must know your God. Stay in the know of the revelatory word of the Lord with Apostle Chantrell Davis as she ministers from the finished works of the Lord. Be sure to like and follow to get our going lively alerts. Beloved, stand having your loins gird. This is no time to fall. For the Lord has provided something better for us. The accelerations are here. This is the manifestation of the sons of God. I'm telling y'all, this is the groundwork, okay? Oh, repentance toward God and faith toward Christ. Get this, the repentance toward God. Once you have repented, you turn back to God, but your faith is toward Christ. I should have to tell you over and over again, turn toward God, you're a sinner, you need Christ. Have faith in Christ, believe what he said he's done. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today on Preach Field Voice Not an Echo. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Apostle Chantrell Davis. Today is December the 28th of 2022, and it is 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to get right into the word. This is a prophetic word. Uh, I've already given a word concerning the uh, uh, so-called Christian music singers that are in Hollywood um, because you... Just make sure you check that out. I'm going to get this word for Hollywood itself. We know Hollywood is a very satanic place. Uh, that whole industry is of the enemy. Don't you ever believe any different? You need to understand that Satan, just as he wanted to ascend, I will be like unto the Most High God. Everything he does is because he wants to be like the Most High God. Just as Christ is drawing everything into himself, he's drawing everything into this one system. This is all simulated. This is all mimicking a, 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 a toothless lion, a, a person that goes about as a lion when he is not one. There's only one lion of the tribe of Judah. And he's trying to draw everything into himself, which is why they want this one mind, this oneness, this hive mind, the e-cow. I have not delivered that message yet, but it's, it's coming. I had to sit on it, but it's coming. Um, This hive mind is just an attempt for him to draw everything into himself, to all be of one mind, to have one thought. And, and part of these injections are actually in that too. I'm actually learning some new information on that that I'm going to look into a little bit further. But we already know that everything they're doing in the system is to get you of one mind. Nobody disagrees. Everybody goes along to get along. You question nothing and you go with it. This is the one mind. And as far as the children uh, that he got becoming neither male nor female because he would not have a desire for women either. He he will be a homosexual and he will be neither male nor female inwardly and outwardly. He is a bad man. He is a twisted being. Which is why you see, as I delivered in the message, they must confuse before they fuse. That we are already moved forth in a time of a divide. Again, I've been saying this since 2017 when it was made clear to me. This is a separating. This is a dividing line. Because judgments are coming. This is why he continually said, come out from among them and be separate. Unless you be partakers of their plagues. Even though we look at this pandemic as what it was, because it is, it caused people to create other systems, other money systems, other ways of going to the hospital, other ways of getting things processed. This had to be forced because people didn't quite understand what come off from among them and be separate meant. So even in the spirit, uh, the stress of them trying to force these injections, even in the stress of them trying to force lockdowns and the stress of them removing platforms for telling truth, different systems are being created. You need to understand that the Lord will take even the trials you go through, but it was used because the separation of systems is happening. So you need to be moving into these Christian systems, moving into these people who are moral and getting out of these systems and, and, and pay elements and banks that are contrary. Because now people are set up a parallel economy. This was not by chance. 
So you need to be looking even at the phone companies, the cell phone companies, the, the uh, towers and the satellites and the banking and even payment systems now that they got that are different, you know, separate from GoFundMe to keep shutting people down when you, when you don't go with what they want when you didn't gather all these funds. They got other systems that are separate from them and you need to be looking into them. You cannot be ignorant of what's going on. You got time to transition out of it because the judgments have already begun to go forth. Okay, but this is specifically to the ones in Hollywood, the ones who say they are Christians. Okay, behind the scene, but they are in agreement with the forced injection, they're in agreement with mandate, they're in agreement with the murdering of these kids, they're in agreement with abortion, they are contrary in their steps. This message is for you. I'm going to read the scripture really quick, and then I'm going to just say what it is and drop it right there like it's hot because it is hot. Because the coals are falling out of heaven. Hot coals. Okay? And ever since he showed me that vision, there's been nothing but. Okay? I'm going to read Joshua 24 and 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, if it seem evil, evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day who you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, you're going to serve Baal or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Let me go. Let me see if I can find even whatever that. Mm -hmm. You're going to choose this day who you're going to serve. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's the same one. I'm not going to read that part again. Okay. You got to choose. This is the prophetic word. That the, the, the people in Hollywood who have been saying they are Christians, who have been saying they love the Lord, who have been saying they for moral things, who have been saying that they for the kingdom of God, that's been straddling the fence. Mark this day. The 12th of uh, uh, December 28th uh, of 2022. Because you're going to begin to see open displays. You're going to be drawn. They're going to be drawn out in the open with blatant, clearly against God decisions and clearly for God decisions. Like when they ask you, is God against homosexual marriage? And you say, well, I do. No, he is not for homosexual marriages. He loved them. He want them saved. But if they believe he made them like that and they enter in the kingdom that way, they, that's a lie from the pit of hell. And the truth is not in them. You will no longer be able to straddle the fence. You will no longer be able to not have that mean everybody in Hollywood. And every, those are you with fame. Whether you're in a church, whether you run a church, whether you just in movies. The hidden ones of Hollywood. The hidden ones, I heard, the hidden ones of Hollywood. Will be brought out into the open. The ones that he's calling you out of that because you can't stay in it. Because everything in that system is Satan. I'm even speaking of a dream. I'm going to work that right on in here. Because I know now what the Lord was showing me in, in, a, in a vision with a large tarantula. The spider had to be the, probably about 12 or 13 stories tall. And I saw it from a distance. And I prayed for the longest and he gave me understanding on it. So you know that vision in here because this was speaking of Hollywood. And I saw the colors on this thing is black. And it had red. And it had white. Black, red, and white on this trenching. Large, long leg spider. And I knew in my spirit it was a principality. And I asked him about the colors and there's this Satanism. And come to look, I looked it up and that's the new colors. Because I saw it, but it was off in the distance and all these lights was on it, like in a stadium, just lit up like lights. Hollywood. Okay? This is why I saw a 13 story spider with red, white, and black. It was black with red and white on it. It's satanic. 
principality over Hollywood, which is why the lights were on it. And these little young lions were going out, and I saw young lions dragging other wounded lions. Some of them kind of had manes, but little manes, which let me know they were young warriors in Christ, going out into Hollywood and going out into this system and getting drugged back wounded. Other lions were dragging other lions back in wounded. That was all the way till he showed me the giant going down. This was a transition. But for those of you who are in Hollywood, the hidden ones that the Lord is calling you, you've been having dreams, you've been having visions, you've been uh, um, seeming very out of place, you've been in tug of war in your heart, You, some of you have just left and you just at home and you're not out as much because of this turmoil. You got to choose this day who you're going to serve. Because many of you are not only going to have to choose behind closed doors, but a lot of you going to be put in a situation to where you clearly going to have to choose something. And it's clearly against the God. And I'm telling you, this is going to be your point of no return. And you're going to be able to choose another time where you're going to have to be able to choose what's right. And that's going to be a reawakening for me. You hear me? Some of you even behind closed doors, you're going to be presented with a situation and some of you publicly to where if you go with this, it's going to be clearly against God. And that's going to be your point of no return. You're going to be the winner over too far. And there's going to be some of you who are going to choose what's right. And it's going to be a beginning of a transition for you. Because there are hidden ones that he's going to bring out. Just like in the last days, the Lord said the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. It will be transferred. This is not only going to be transferred through taking it and through financial situations and through miraculous. He's going to convert and change the hearts of some who are wealthy. So that wealth then going to become the kingdoms. I want y'all to catch this. Some wealth is going to be taken from them through miraculous ways. And some with wealth are going to be converted and come out and changed. So therefore they possess, they're going to serve the Lord with it. That's another way it will be transferred. I need y'all to hear this word. Those of you in Hollywood, listen. Some of you have been getting this in behind closed doors. And dreams and visions and the way you literally didn't withdraw because it's that much turmoil going on in you. Even like Kanye. There's turmoil going on, but he's not saved. He's in turmoil. And people can't even see it. Y'all need to pray for him. Okay? He He's trying to minister a word when he don't know the person yet. He's new. He's trying. He's looking. But he's not saved. He can't minister the word of a God he don't know. He can't minister the word of a God he has not said on them being sanctified by. But the fight is on for his mind. So you need to pray for him. But many of you are going to be presented with this. In these coming days. Choose this day who you're going to serve. Because some of you is going to take you to the point of no return. And you're going to go on times of your life you, you only think you've been in turmoil. And some of you go, even though it's uncomfortable, you're going to choose what's right. And it's going to be the beginning of your translation. The hidden ones of Hollywood will be drawn out. You will be drawn out to the good. Or you will be drawn out to your shame. And the Lord know who you are. But this is a word for you this day. I'm delivering this December the 28th of 2022. And I'm ending this message at 7.13 p.m. Central Standard Time. Grace be with you, beloved. I love you all. Did you know that when you hit thumbs up, you enable more to be fed by the very message that just fed you? So share the spiritual meal. Feed others. Work a righteous work. Worketh evangelism by working the thumb. Thumbs up. Feed more. Thumbs up. Feed more. Sow into the good ground of preach be a voice not an echo, yet only as you have purposed in your heart. For God loves a cheerful giver. The truth, the truth of the word of God. Of the word of God. 
1 Corinthians 9.11 reads, If we have sown into your spiritual things, is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things? Give only with purpose and cheer, for we desire fruit that will abound towards your account. We thank you for all of your support, seed of your time, seed of your prayers, and the purpose seed of your gifts. To give, visit our YouTube channel and click on the PayPal logo or go directly to PayPal using the following links or email preachbvne at yahoo.com. To listen to more messages and for the latest updates and offers, visit www.preachbvne.webs.com. Also view messages on the YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash preach be a voice, not an echo ministry. Also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Do the work of an evangelist. Watch it, then share it. Beloved, we wish above all things that you will prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Grace be with you. Thank you for joining us today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be 